What's happening, comic fans? Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Got some new books bound recently. Finally, they came in. They're completed. Um, I got a ton of them. They're all sitting behind me. We're going to look at each one a little bit, um, talk about why I bound it, things like that. I am going to do you know more in-depth videos with these as I reread them um, and recommend the runs in general. I mean, I love these books. That's why I had them bound. So I'm very excited to reread these. Um, and sort of talk about the books, you know, in depth later in the future once I've uh, reread them and re enjoyed them. But for today, we're going to look at the binding, um, look at the books themselves, what's in them, how I bound them, things like that. So I'm very excited for that. Before we get into it, real quick, I want to mention organicpricebooks.com. It's the only place Matt and I go to get our hardcover comics, our trade paperbacks, compendiums, deluxe editions, absolutes, whatever it may be. Um, use the promo code THC2 at checkout. It'll get you an extra $2 off. Amazing shipping, uh, incredible customer service, great packaging. Um, you can pre-order, back order, you can order obviously whatever's in stock. Um, really amazing, amazing uh, service. Can't recommend it enough. Now, let's talk about some custom binds. It's been months since I've seen these books, but we finally got them. We'll start things off with the amazing green, green Lantern books. These are all Buckram binds, I'll say it up front. Um, Graham Morrison, Liam Sharp, this, these books I split into two volumes. I did season one and season two. Um, season one collecting, you know, all of season one, and then season two collects the uh, the Green Lantern Black Stars mini and season two of the Green Lantern title. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal book. I'm so glad I, I was able to get this bound. I imagine there will be an omnibus for it someday. Potentially, if there's an absolute, I will double dip on it, but... Um, I really wanted to split this into two volumes. You know, at one point I was thinking about doing one massive gigantic volume, but uh, Liam Sharp's artwork is so good. I want as as little gutter loss as I can possibly get, uh, just to enjoy it to the maximum. Um, you know, I've noticed within the first dozen or so pages there are. Uh, uh, you know, bits of letters that are caught up in the middle, in the in the gutter, as it were. Um, so I still, you know, definitely got to work in the binding a little bit more, work the spine in a little more to, to spread this out. But I'm thrilled with this. DC at the time with their single issues was um, putting them out in this incredible matte sort of... Uh, you know, not not too glossy paper that is just amazing to read. Um, so I, I'm very happy that I got this, you know. And I'm looking forward to continuing my Green Lantern custom bind collection. I mean, look at that artwork. Look at that. Incredible. If there's ever an absolute, I'm definitely going to be all over that bad boy. Another eye hole for you pervs out there. Next up, we're going to talk about a book that is uh, one of the final pieces to my uh, Sandman Universe uh, corner of my collection. This is the new uh, Books of Magic series by um, Kate Howard, Tom Fowler. Uh, fantastic, fantastic book. A lot of fun. This is this. I think the, this series started in 2018, 2019, maybe. Um, with the sort of, you know, reignition of the Sandman universe, which which didn't last too long. This is, I think, a 23 or 24 issue volume. So, you know, pretty pretty solid sized omnibus. It's, uh, you know, probably the most I would recommend to put in a book, um, 24, 25. But uh, I'm very excited to read this. I've actually gotten all the Sandman universe books in this most recent batch of binds, so... We'll be able to see all of them. Uh, this is definitely a great book for uh, fans of Harry Potter, things like that. The uh, the artwork's spectacular, and it's what's great about it too is it's consistent throughout uh, pretty much the entire run. Um, this run does also tie in with uh, uh, you get to see John Constantine in here a little bit. It's a lot of fun. Um, really great binding work by by Lehman. I must say they they really outdid themselves this time. Um, if if anyone's interested, this is Lehman Bookbinding in Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. Um, highly recommend them. Another Sandman Universe book, Hellblazer. This is the Simon Spurrier run uh, with Aaron Campbell and Matthias Bergara on artwork. This was, I think, in total 13 issues, including the sort of Sandman Universe Presents Hellblazer issue. So 12 issues on the main series and then that first prequel-ish uh, type uh, issue. 
I love this run so much. This is definitely going to be one of the first, uh, one of the top three books that I reread from uh, from this pile. Um, was collecting the series as it came out. Absolutely loved it. I was collecting all the Sandman Universe books as they were coming out. Um, they were phenomenal. I love Simon Spurrier as well. And Hellblazer, I mean, it's just, all of it is just such a perfect... Um, perfect trifecta of reasoning to purchase this series and i and i love it so much i don't know if we'll ever see a deluxe it would be nice if we would it's a uh, i don't know I, I only heard incredible things about this series and i personally loved it as well so um can't recommend it enough if you like john constantine read the newest hellblazer by simon spear this thing's amazing um and a really nice size bind if you're looking to bind it yourself at 13 issues um you know even better if you're using trade paperbacks because they uh, don't have ads so that's good Batman and Robin Eternal, nothing exciting here. This is going to be, you know, this is one of the binds that will be part of my massive sort of Scott Snyder Batman era set, um, which I'm very close to having completed. I just need a, another volume of Batman Eternal and uh, and the rest of my books that are sitting at Matt's house. But nothing too exciting here. Just use the th thick, thick trade paperbacks for this. Um, nothing too thrilling, you know, solid run. Great part of a, a larger run of the New 52. And the last Sandman Universe book I needed, Lucifer. This is the Dan Waters, uh, Max Fiumara run. This is the recent run as well, part of the newer Sandman Universe titles. Um, great, great series. This is probably uh, the best series that, that came out of that whole era. The Dreaming was fantastic as well. But man, Lucifer is just a trip. Each issue is uh, feels like a journey. Each issue feels like its own story, even though it's part of a, a, a larger, more way more mythical story um, happening with Lucifer and uh, various other characters in Lucifer's circle, Caliban, characters like that. I, I personally love this. I chose orange with the black font because it's Lucifer, you know? What what else are you going to do? Um, I really I really like the pop of the, the colors. I, I, I have a lot of binds in this haul that are primarily black buckram but i like to go with colors once in a while if it suits the tone of the book and for some reason this lucifer run just had an orange vibe to me i don't know why um you can see the eye holder pretty solid binding a lot of these honestly will get worked in over time and become better to read um that's a cool thing i've noticed at least with lehman's books um the uncollected valiant so this was a bunch of minis and one shots that i just had sitting in my short box with no home there was no bind that was good that they were going to fit into i'm sort of falling off of the newer valiant stuff so i collected a bunch of those minis in here there was an armstrong um one issue one shot at the start there i, I added the forgotten queen in here which was a uh, a four issue mini series i threw an in incursion as well um a fantastic uh, andy diggle mini um, I thought it was going to lead somewhere, but it was just this epic story uh, with Doug Brathwaite artwork that just sort of went nowhere. Um, but anyway, it's included in there as well. This is, this is kind of a fun book. I'm really glad I did this because it's a really great anthology. I'm trying to keep spoilers away because, uh, you know, it goes from the last page of one series to the next. But Psylords is included in here as well. Uh, that was an eight-issue mini by Fred Van Lantin, Renato Guedes. I also included the life and death of Toyo Harada, uh, the the final final story in Joshua Dysart's Harbinger run, and then I included the uh, the Ryan Brown recent Quantum and Woody mini series. So a lot of variety in there, a lot of uh, loose ends being tied up. Um, we got Rai here as well. This is the most recent run by uh, Dan Abnett, um, Adam Polina, and then Juan Jose Rip. Adam Polina worked with. Uh, Mr. Abnett on the Fallen World mini, which led up to the fourth, uh, which led up to, sorry, the Rye, uh, on ongoing series that ran for, I think, eight or ten issues. It's a pretty small bind. It'll fit in with all the other small binds I've got at Valiant, because they've been doing a lot of maxi series, if you will, lately. And, uh, the last monster of the collection, Death Metal, all in one. Look at that compared to the Rye. This collects everything that was Dark Knight's death metal, including those like Justice League tie-ins, the Teen tie whatever, whatever other tie-ins, maybe not Teen Titans, whatever other tie-ins were in there. Of course, including the main series and all that jazz. So there's a, a, a lot going on in this book. It's a big monster. And like with the metal uh, custom omnibus, it's, you know, there's a lot of pages in here for one and a lot of Almost all of the covers are cardstock covers, so uh, it's not a book that will ever lay flat as I read it, not naturally anyway. Um, those cardstock covers are like a blue chew um, or a, that blue pill, yeah, it just keeps you nice and uh, erect. 
while you're reading um, but what can you do it's the price you have to pay when you wanted to get the single issues with the cool covers um, and it's a price I don't mind paying for a monstrosity like this but that's all of them let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below um, if you'd like to see any official releases of runs here if you have any series that you are planning to custom bind soon it's the year of custom binds we still got a few months so get it while you can thank you all very much for tuning in this is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Until next time, as always, you stay classy, Internet.